Hello there and welcome to this overview of ProPortal at Hartford Regional College. ProPortal is the individual learning plan system which is basically a window onto your progress here as a student. So your mark book will show you how you are performing, so how you're doing with assignments and units. Um, any meetings that you have, any formal meetings you have with your tutors will be in there. Any comments that you make or they make via ProPortal will be there and so on. So let's jump in and have a quick look at it. So you get to ProPortal via the Moodle homepage. I'll just jump back into Moodle there. The button on there, just Google Moodle and uh, Moodle HRC and click on the button if you're at home or somewhere else. Um, on the launch page, you'll see um, a video. Um, by the time you watch it, it'll have the updated version in there that we're doing now. And when you click to go in, it'll take you straight in if you're at college or you'll have to sign in if you're at home. So we're in as Barbara Lewis, who's our pretend student. And you see Barbara has a notice board and some other windows. Starting at the bottom um, is her attendance and punctuality. So as you attend sessions at HRC, you'll see a percentage will appear in these boxes. So you want that one to be 100% and that one to be 100%. The notice board um, right now is asking you to do some specific things because right at the start of the year, we need you to check data and give us information. So we'll work our way through this um, through this now. And these, these windows on the outside are just windows onto information that's sitting within here anyway. So to start with, under the information menu, we'd like you to check your data, or check your details. So have a look at your details and just make sure that everything looks correct in here. If there are gaps, that's fine. And you can click on change request. If you see anything wrong or you want to update the mobile number or whatever, click on change request and then you'll get a box next to each one and you can type the correct value in there and then just click submit. And the next thing we'd like you to do is just have a look at the information I've read section. Now if there's information in there that we'd like you to read that will be listed um, and at the moment there's Bravo a summary so this is just a one page summary of Bravo. Have a look at that. And then just click on I have read this and save. Make sure it's highlighted green. Okay, let's go back to the home page. And the last thing under information is your parent or carer email address. Now this is important, it's very important we have a valid um, up-to-date email address for your parent or carer. Ignore this bit at the top, this will disappear. Um, so I'm typing in, in fact I just typed this in earlier on. You'll find yours is empty, but obviously you need to type the address in once and type it again in again there and make sure it's the same both times and save okay so back to the home page now there are two things we'd like you to do under the learner ILP menu okay so the first one is about achieving your career goals. And this is um, really important. This is where you think about um, actually what is it? Why are you on the course? What do you want to do at the end of it? Um, so have a stab at filling this in. And the idea is that you fill this in. And then when you meet up with your tutor, um, you can talk it through. Okay, so um, Barbara Lewis, I know 
Um, right. Would like to become an air hostess. And how does she like to learn? Well, she likes watching videos. Now, in the actions teachers can take to support me, she likes some clear deadlines, and she also wants to include. She wants to be allowed to include photos in her work. So obviously, um, it's the way that the way that she learns, the way she likes to. Um, express herself and then she's got to choose an option at the bottom there which best describes your goal so she wants to go into a full-time job at the end of it so she saves it and the last thing is setting a smart target to be reviewed in two weeks time okay so just have a stab at this under Learner ILP, My Smart Targets. And here you'll see a list of any smart targets you have. And we're going to create a new one. Window will pop up. And the secret to a good smart target or effective smart target is um, obviously it has to be have a review date. You need to know when it's going to be done by. So we're on the third today, so we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to give ourselves two weeks. And let's have a look. I want a smart target that is going to be easily achievable within the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to make a diary of the week, which shows when I'll be doing college, college work. And while well, I'll be rollerblading and doing other stuff. Yeah, so I've got to include five hours of assignment work within that diary. So that's measurable. I know. Um, I know how to do that. I've just got to make sure I include five hours. Now, um, these boxes below, you don't need to touch at all. But say later on down the line, if you're working on a particular unit, your unit will be displayed here. Or you can choose your unit from this drop down box here. And then that'll make it. Um, clear what the target is relating to but you can obviously write it in here as well so click save and that will take you back to your smart target page here's our smart target and it's to be reviewed so imagine it's two weeks time or even less I come look at my smart targets and I can just edit this one And I can just change it to achieved. And I've achieved it. Now you can see it's clearly there as achieved. So in this way, when a tutor sets you a smart target, um, you can monitor and track that, and they can monitor and track the ones that you set as well. So everyone's got a good, or at least anyone who's teaching you and you, it's all private. Um, apart from for those um, for, for staff and you, um, everyone can see how you're doing. Okay, so a good way to learn about ProPortal obviously is to go in and have a look around. Um, one thing I didn't tell you about was the lesson timetable. So click on there and that will show you your timetable for every week of the year and who you have and which room, etc. Now, last but not least, we have this meetings and comments section. And um, if we look at the comments first, so here's a here's another way of getting into the comments section. Now you can add comments just in the same way you can add smart targets. And here's Barbara's comments page, and you can see a list of comments that have already been made, and Barbara can make her own comments here. Now this comment here has been added um, by a member of the Learning Centre team and it's a cause for compliment. So Barbara's been a great help in the Learning Centre today um, talking first years through the best sports fitness resources. Um, well done Barbara. And then you can see that Barbara's left her own learner reflection comment there. 
Um, she says she discovered mind mapping today and she's going to use it to plan her next presentation. Actually, mind mapping is absolutely fantastic. If you're a visual person uh, in planning, it's an excellent tool. If you're in interested in mind mapping, um, either talk to your tutor or come and talk to us in the Learning Centre. Uh, we know some, some tools you can use for that. Really good. So the last part then is the meeting section. Now, as a student, you're entitled to um, regular meetings with your tutor. Now, there are about four formal meetings throughout the year. Um, the first one being the probation review. You have a probation review meeting within the first of the four or five weeks. Um, and it's to think about, you know, is, it the, is this the right choice for you? Is this the right course? How are you getting on, etc. Now, Barbara hasn't had hers yet, but her tutor has scheduled it, so it appears in Barbara's pro portal. Once the meeting's taken place, Barbara can click on the title of the meeting and see the notes from that meeting. Now, as, as well as regular one-to-one -one tutorial meetings, um, you'll have a probation review, followed by a progress review in November, and then in February, another progress review, followed by what's called a destination interview. And your personal tutor will explain all of that um, as the year progresses. So that's a whistle-stop tour of Pro Portal. Um, come and see us in the Learning Centre if you need any help accessing Pro Portal. Um, and don't forget to keep track of your smart targets. And um, obviously, once you've started to do work and your work has started to be marked, Pro Portal will become a bit more meaningful because you'll be able to go in and you'll be able to look at your mark book. And under mark book, you'll be able to choose either your main vocational course, it would appear in here, or your English and Maths. Your English and Maths results from mock uh, assessments, etc. will be in there as well. So good luck and hopefully see you soon in the Learning Centre.